Welcome to the System Optimization Division of Cutting Systems Incorporated video tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss the electronics system of Hypertherm's HPR plasma power supply, its related components, and how they function together. In the electronics systems, there are both major and minor components. All equally is important to ensure you get the best part quality possible. The components we will be discussing in this tutorial are the torch, the torch leads, the pilot arc relay, the main contactor, the chopper, the cooling fans, and the controller. Most of the performance of a plasma system happens in the torch. High pressure gas flows are controlled by the features and positioning of the consumables to shape the 40,000 degree Fahrenheit plasma arc. It is critical that the torch be maintained properly. The annual prevent and maintenance package comes with O-rings, seals, and the new torch. During the first preventative maintenance service, we will replace all of the O-rings and seals in the torch. During the second service, we replace the torch. The torch leads are part of both the coolant and electronic system of your plasma power supply. Contained inside the braided steel mesh protective covering is the torch coolant lines. Inside one of these lines is the copper lead taking power to the torch. The power lead is on the inside of the line taking coolant to the torch on the HPR power supplies and then the return line on the HPR XD power supplies. It is this constant flow of coolant through the torch leads that causes the power lead to gradually deteriorate destroying its ability to effectively transfer power to the torch. This can cause misfires and overall poor cut quality. You will notice that a brand new coolant filter is pure white and the used filter which is removed appears more charcoal colored. This is because the filter is trapping the particles of the power lead which are eroding away. The annual preventive maintenance kit includes two filters and enough coolant for two services. Hypertherm recommends new torch leads every two years. Another highly critical and all too often neglected component is the main contactor. The main contactor takes the power coming into the power supply and directs it to the choppers. From the choppers, the power is sent to the torch. Every time the torch is asked to fire, the main contactor is pulled in. The main contactor is included in the annual preventive maintenance package and is replaced during the second biannual service. Failure to replace the main contactor, as recommended, will put undue pressure on the choppers. Choppers are costly to replace but by following Hypertherm's recommended service schedule, they should never fail. A second important component is the pilot arc relay. The pilot arc takes the return power from the torch to complete the circuit. Every time the torch is asked to fire, the pilot arc is activated. It is also included in the annual preventive maintenance package and is replaced during the second biannual service as well. Failure to replace the pilot arc relay as recommended can cause misfires and other anomalies. The cooling fans are an integral part of the electronics system. The 6 inch fans keep the heat sink for the choppers cool while the 10 inch fans cool the magnetics, the main transformer, and the PC boards. While these fans are keeping vital electronic components cool, they are also bringing in air from your shop and with it outside contaminants. If you have welding and grinding in the same area, your power supply will gather even more carbon dust, which is extremely harmful to the electronics. Notice how much dust comes from these fans, even after being blown out at the start of the service. We always start each preventative maintenance service by blowing out the power supply. If you have welding and or grinding in the same area as your cutting machine, you should remove the cover and blow out the power supply monthly with clean shop air or nitrogen. It is extremely important to change out these fans as they are keeping vital components of your power supply at the proper operating temperature. In the service parts replacement schedule, these fans are changed every three years. The brains and one of the most expensive components for your system is your control unit. Whether you have an older analog control or one of the new state-of-the-art PC-based digital controls, they all need to be maintained at least once a month. While this service is not too intricate, if done improperly, you could do great damage. 
Well, this damage may not be noticeable immediately, such as when a light bulb fails. It can be quite costly. We recommend you power down, then open the case and using clean shop air, but preferably nitrogen, direct a gentle stream towards the top of the case, and then work your way down side to side, maintaining at least a distance of 12 inches or more from the contact point, depending on the force of air coming from your nozzle. If you get the airstream too close to the boards and connection points, you could be forcing that fine carbon dust into vulnerable areas. Doing this properly can save you a great deal of aggravation and expense. Failing to perform this service is setting yourself up for costly repairs and downtime.